we got to the Amy Lord Chamber, but you also have a uh, specific device called the Catalyst, right? Which is, it's kind of a sister product to the Chamber itself. Can you go into mm -hmm. that a little yeah, bit, so what that does? So essentially right now, like those are sold out and, and we're kind of back to the R&D phase on that. So those folks are getting their beta models and, and all that fun stuff. Um, the cool thing about that is it's the analog PEMF device that's actually built into the chain. Mm -hmm. And what we did very, very similarly to kind of imagining what happens when the human is in an ideal environment, we did the exact same thing with these electrodynamic fields. So we would probably commonly call these static fields. Yep. It's a static wave of electricity and it carries frequencies. So it carries information. It's no different than a radio. Radio has a standing wave and it carries specific information, right? So that device and the resonator that, that powers the PEMF within the chamber are both based on the same core technology. And what we did was we said, okay, again, ideal human, ideal environment, surrounded by nature, surrounded by other biofields, sound, whatever. So you've got this range of frequencies. We call it a multi-wave PEMF because it's got a range of frequencies as opposed to a recipe-based solution. So yes, we might know that, you know, 520 promotes glorious, 520 hertz. Right promotes this kind of glorious, wonderful, relaxed state of mind, makes people feel happy. You don't always need to feel happy. <laughs> That's one of the problems <laughs> with that kind of recipe-based thinking. It's, we, are, we are meant to experience life, which is hugely variable. Right. So the cool thing about that guy is it's the core of this multi-wave analog PM more potent ways to recharge the human battery right. essentially to improve mitochondrial health yeah it was, it's really interesting that you're able to take that and apply that it's something you actually hold right it's it's like a sphere you saw there and you're holding it so it's a little different than the bed yeah so that version is there, there's some cooler stuff I, I won't go in too much but um, cooler stuff down coming down the pike where the idea is you don't necessarily need to hold something, right? Okay. So yes, that's what you've seen. And there are devices like that out there. It's based on an old Tesla uh, technology. It, it's really cool stuff. Um, it's also not super practical to hold it. So we, we'll see how that thing ends up. There's a lot of R&D left. There's a lot of excitement. We've seen really, really, really cool things. Like when we use it in practice and experimentally with folks, what we've seen is it's fairly remarkable. Is that what you're thinking here that, listen, this chamber catalyst are just the starting points of something that can be a series of different devices that expand, that always improve? Or are you just right now focused, hey, these are our core ones. This is what we're doing. Like, what's the idea for the future of the company? Yeah, great question. So the beauty of our CEO is he's kind of a great product thinking guy. And um, to create this isolated field-based experience where you you take the body like away from all the other interference patterns and you isolate the static fields that would normally kind of cause risk and harm. I think that's the core of what we want to do. And now that the Lamborghini is nailed, we can start to take that apart and build the Camry or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, it, it'll be really so interesting to see. Yeah, when you have that much technology and it's really interesting to see as you go along how it evolves, how you can make other things out of that. And you did it build what absolutely looks like the Lamborghini of all types of bioenergetic devices out there. So congrats on that. <laughs>